Hey there guys, it's Rick Uter here with Airgun Web TV and Airgun Pro Shop. And we're finally getting to take a look at the new Evanex Max Air 30 caliber. All right, so before we get started, definitely wanna say thank you to Airgun Pro Shop who's bringing all this together. They're working with Evanex to bring you guys Evanex USA. That's all the Evanex guns here in the US, at least the current models that they're making. And this is one of the newest ones. This is a semi-automatic air actuated bullpup. And this one's in 30 caliber. So you're gonna have them in 22 caliber, 25 caliber, and 30 caliber. What makes this special? Well, first of all, it is air actuated. Now, Evanex used to have some stuff that was run with a battery and a motor and all that stuff. Not anymore. This is run off the air. Very, very cool. Inside, it's got a patented valve system. It's super, super simple. So only a couple O-rings. Everything about the gun is user serviceable. I really like that because that means, well, semi-automatics, they're going to need maintenance. They're going to need work. This is super easy to work on. It's just a couple pins, just a couple screws, just a couple O-rings, and you can be back up and running and back in business. That's very awesome. So with this system, we'll go through some of the features. First of all, we've got a carbon fiber cylinder, so the gun itself is relatively light. Now, we just got done shooting a bunch of cool footage, some accuracy footage, some exploding stuff, because you know if you want to shoot this, you want to explode things. And that's what we were doing, which is really cool. So on top, I've got the AT and optic. You can run whatever optic you want, but we got some really cool footage through this scope of me shooting this gun, which we're gonna be, you're gonna be seeing that right now, probably on the screen. So how does this all work? First of all, you're gonna fill this to 250 bar. That's pretty, pretty typical in what we're getting with the carbon fiber cylinders out of these guns right now. It's got a place for the magazine. It's gonna slide right in here. So. We've got a seven shot magazine. We're running the 30 cal JSBs, comes with two mags. So this thing fires from the open bolt position. So if you wanna decock this, just hold on to the handle and now it's decocked. To cock it, to load the magazine, we just pull this back, it locks into position, we'll put it on safety there. And then this little cover here, this is a guard. This prevents some of the air, because again, it is air actuated. It does blow some air at you, because right here is where it would be coming out. They've got those guards that stops it from hitting you in the face. If you're a lefty, probably not gonna be your favorite gun, so sorry about that. But for a righty, this thing, it works great. So this slides back to load the magazine. Right there, clips into place, and now you're ready to roll. All right, to load the second magazine, again, this is firing from the open bolt. We'll just drop this in. And there you go, back in business. Now, you're gonna see a little wheel here on the side. This little guy here is your power wheel. So screw it all the way in, less power, all the way out, more power. It's got a ball detent, but it's not like five settings. It's literally very, very gradual. Depending on the gun, sometimes the variance could be like maybe 60 feet per second or maybe 80 feet per second, something like that. It's not a huge variance, but what it does let you do is that if you don't need max power, you roll that in a little bit, you're gonna get more shots. It's gonna be more efficient, which is very, very cool. Now, as far as shot count goes, this is a 30 cal. It's using a lot of air, both to actuate the system, because it's got a big heavy hammer spring, as well as drive the pellet. So how many shots do you get? At 250 bar, you're gonna get about three to four mags. Now this is really important. I want you guys to know this right up front. You're gonna fill the 250 bar. You don't wanna ever let this go below 150 bar. If you do, the gun can burp and it doesn't quite have enough air to get it locked back into place again. So definitely keep an eye on your pressure. It's not gonna double feed on you, but it will kind of burp. And if you hear that, stop what you're doing. Make sure you top this thing back off to 250. The other thing that's super important is you need to keep it lubricated. Every couple hundred shots, you need to lube the action. Now, where there's a special lubricant, we're gonna put some links on our website, be sure to check that out. But that stuff works great, keeps it nice and smooth and everything working like you want it to work. All right, let's talk a little bit about power. So I'm shooting the 44.75 grain JSBs. They're doing about 840, 850 feet per second, give or take a little bit. Sometimes it'll max out to about 860, depending on which gun you're getting. There's a little bit of a variance there just because it is semi-automatic. You got a lot of stuff going on there. So think about, about 850, 840 feet per second is what you're gonna get out of this. And again, you're getting three mags, maybe four mags. If you turn the power down, that's when you're definitely gonna get that fourth mag out of it. So that's what this gun is. This is the 
Evanex Max Air Bullpup Semi-Automatic 30 Cal, available 22, 25, and 30 caliber. Very, very cool. Don't know what else to say about it other than uh, I've had a ball shooting this one. This is actually a customer's gun and it's going out to him very, very soon. If you need more information, go to www.airgunproshop.com. My name's Rick Utzer. Thanks for watching.